hey guys you're yeah, welcome back to my youtube channel so i filmed this course quiz shadow makeover for you all don't forget to like comment subscribe share and hit the notification button to stay updated when i post a new video so let's get right into this video Starting off, I'll be using the Garnier cleansing water to cleanse my face in case there are any deaths on it. Then I'll use Cetaphil to moisturize my face. I'll apply the moisturizer on all the parts of my face, especially my under eye because it's quite dry. After that, I'll apply the Garnier cleansing water to cleanse my face in case there are any deaths on it. Then I'll use Cetaphil to moisturize my face. I'll apply the moisturizer on all parts of my face, especially my under eye because it's quite dry. After which, I go in with ponds and I'm going to apply it on all parts of my face except my under eye, of course, to avoid creasing. Then I go in with the Zaron oil block, after which I set with the Nia setting spray. For foundation, I mixed my Holy Grail foundation, of course, color 4, with the two foundation, color 600, to get this um, foundation shade. I'm going to gently pat the foundation in so it sits perfectly on my face. I'll keep on blending till I get my desired finish. As usual, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and Cool Tan. So I'm using Cool Tan for my inner eye corner and Fawn for the outer eye corner. I also used foam for the other parts of my face I'm highlighting. I'm going in with the same beauty blender I used in blending out my foundation to blend out the concealer till everything is well blended and it sits perfectly on my skin. In blending out the concealer, I'm just patting it on my skin gently. I repeat the same process over and over and over till everything is properly blended so that it doesn't give harsh lines. I'm using a red lipstick for cream blush. I'm gently patting it on my cheek and blending it upward. Still blending out the remainings of the concealer on my under eye, I'll keep blending, blending over and over so that everything falls in place because I don't want harsh line. This is the Zikia Holy Grail Palette Powder and I'll use it to set my concealer in. For my concealer and the highlighted area, I'll use a lighter shade of powder and for the other, sides of my face that are not highlighted i'll use my skin shade i'm using a loose powder to bake and secure my highlights I'm just going to gently apply this powder on all the highlighted areas on my face. So I'm just brushing my brows upward like so. For a detailed video on how to draw your brows, please check my previous video. Thank you. I use a concealer shade Fawn as base for my shadows and I'm just gently blending it out. For shadows, I'm using the Guerlain Shadow Palette. I'm using um, a purple shade as transition. I'm just blending out the purple transition that I put in and I'm going to go in with red just to um, give it some form of definition using the concealer shade phone I'm just going to form a cut crease I 
I'm going in with a green matte shadow, which is actually the shadow I intend using for my cut crease. I'm using a black shadow at the tip of the cut crease to blend out both the transition and the green shadow. I'm applying my glitter glue after which I'll go in with um, the glitters on my cut crease. I'm using the Zaron eyeliner to outline my eye. I popped on my lashes off camera. After outlining my under eye, I'll go in with the same transition shade that I used for my shadow to um, gently smudge underneath my um, tear duct. I'm dusting off the excess powder on my face and making sure it's all blended properly. I'm using a two shade dark powder from my Zikel palette to contour my nose. I started contouring by forming a straight line from where my brow began forming a V and I'm going to drag it downward and I'm going to just blend out the whole um, powder just to avoid harsh line. I'm using my powder blush to reapply on the same areas where I applied the cream blush. I use the concealer shade Fawn as lipstick. Then I use the brown shade in the Eye Magic Lip Palette in outlining my lips. After that, I used pink from the same Eye Magic Lip Palette. For highlights, I'm using a classic makeup highlighter. So I'm just going to highlight my cheek, my forehead, my nose and underneath my lips. To set my face, I'm using the Fix Makeup Spray. And here is the finished look. So, what do you guys think about this look? Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you ended up enjoying it. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!